Welcome back. Thank you for being here with me again. Those of you who are interested in this type of thing, my name is Shauna Mayfield of Theraphase Biofield Tuning. So I today wanted to come back on here and share another workshop with you. Um, doing some art and using tuning forks and working with the cycles of time and energy. And for today, I was really wanting to tap into this Mars and Venus conjunction that is going on right now. I'm not a professional astrologer. Um, however, I have some recommendations I'll put in the links below. But I do love to look at what's happening up in the um, cosmos and how that is reflected in the inner zodiac and how we can process um, during uh, these big shifts and so I thought that was pretty important when the um, Mars and Venus comes together and I've been experiencing my own personal version of what that is like on my um, within myself but then also the primary relationship is with the self but then also in your in your other relationships in your partnerships in your family and, and then those other um, beyond that as other ones so relationships is the theme and this um, coming together of the yin and the yang and how we can harmonize that within ourselves so that we can become more whole and um, integrated energetically integrated and so uh, yeah so I'm gonna share a little more of this journaling kind of process and how we can tap into it and really allow that expression to come out and be um, reflected back and so the first thing I'm gonna do is just invite everybody to settle in you can do this with me now or you can watch this later uh, after you've kind of gotten yourself more prepared and you know what we're going to do. Um, but basically you'll just want to have either a journal, a notebook, it doesn't really matter what you're drawing on. I have a journal that has lined paper that I use all the time for this kind of work. And uh, this is where I got my idea to do this uh, workshop. Um, this one's unfinished, but we've got kind of a Venus and Mars um, symbolism happening here and just kind of feeling into the way this energy moves with the feminine and this uh, swirling cyclic um, orbiting here creating this pattern and then the, the uh, Mars energy of being very linear and um, having these pivot points of direct motion and there's a lot going on here and we'll go over that. This is kind of what we're going to do today. There's the overlaps of where the masculine and the feminine energies are coming together. I've created another circle in the center, sort of like a Vesica Pisces. Um, but you can see we're working with integration. And there's a concept in energy, um, electricity and magnetism that there is a polarity happening there with the yin and yang and the masculine and the feminine. And in Eileen McCusick's book, uh, Electric Body, Electric Health, she talks about how the magnetic field is likened to that feminine principle um, relating to the emotional component of the energy. Whereas the masculine principle is going to be the thoughts and they are more like the electrical current that is flowing along that magnetic field. And so when we're working with the magnetic field, we're working with our emotions and, and modulating that energetic structure so that our thoughts um, follow more of a coherent pattern because emotions in the nature of them have a tendency to take us into these oscillation patterns and yeah so we want to work with having a 
kind of a holistic template on the magnetic field. And this concept, you know, maybe I'm not really articulating it very clear and I'm still working on how to translate all of that. I know that's something I've been working on specifically with my husband and he's a very linear thinking person, very left brain dominant and very right brain dominant. And so we're having this dynamic of how to communicate better with each other. Um, anyway, I don't want to over explain this process. It's really just me sharing how I am exploring this process for myself even because it's new for me too. But what it will do is just get started with settling into a kind of a relaxed, more of a relaxed state. And so I'll start with using the Schumann pair and bring that frequency of the earth in and to help the brain waves come into more of the alpha theta state, which is um, kind of active and creative. So I will also take this music and pause it. That's Zoe Keating, by the way, if anybody wants to know. All right. Have a glass of water nearby. And go ahead and start taking a few deep breaths. And just kind of dropping awareness and attention into the present moment into your body and just sensing the space and everything around you as it is just noticing it's just a little bit of salt for my water And as you're taking these really deep inhalations and exhalations, you'll want to start letting go of any kind of tension you're sensing in your body. So just becoming more aware of where you're holding your body tight. A lot of what this tuning work is, is guiding people into becoming more somatically aware of themselves and what their body is communicating. And so right now I'm just saying, hey, let go, get into the body and start connecting with the earth. and seeing the connection between your biofield and the biosphere of the earth. Just, you know, easily allow that connection to be made down to the core of the, the earth itself. Just centering yourself, grounding. Of course, you'll wanna be barefoot of that easy connection. So I also like to tune into the paper itself, this um, canvas, this blank um, mirror. It's like a mirror in some ways um, for your subconscious mind to reflect. And when we do this type of artwork, there's definitely a need to let your your uh, controlling part of your mind take a take a seat and maybe give them a give that part of yourself a, just like watch what's happening. Let's just watch how this unfolds because there's so much that can get in the way of even doing something like this because you're 
especially if you're really an analytical type. Um, but this, this is actually in the result generating meaning. Okay, so let's start tuning in to these different principles of energetic expression. The yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine, Mars and Venus. Okay, so we're going to begin with creating the circles that are representing the different types of energy and how they come together. I have a simple bowl here to use to refer to create a nice circle. You can freehand them. They don't have to be perfect circles. However you like to do it. And I'm going to start by using just a really nice um, thick black Sharpie. This is watercolor paper, uh, just so you know. And I use that because it's thick and it holds a lot more ink or potentially paint if you wanted to paint it. So roughly dividing this in half does not need to be exact. We're just creating the frame framework for what we're going to do. I see it right there. It doesn't matter. And this is also not exactly perfectly centered and it doesn't matter. I'm gonna bring this edge of the other circle right up to this one. Um another circle okay and then I'm gonna bring this to the center actually before we do that we're going to use these circles to do the expression for each energy and this is where we'll start listening listening in to the masculine feminine. We will start with the feminine, the left side, masculine and the right side. Let's start with the feminine. And this is just an exercise of going within and being receptive and deeply listening. But if you start getting into the thinking mind of uh, doubt and what am I doing and this is uh, uh, what am I tapping into that's not going to help you become receptive and so that's why I suggest that when you when that part of the self comes up that's like I don't know about this lady and what she's doing with these tuning forks and uh, just kind of if you're open you know, put that part of yourself into a, a learning position. And I just kind of see that part of myself as sitting and kind of taking notes and doing this kind of, hmm. And that way it just puts it over there and it allows this other experience to take place that may not have been able to come through had your sort of controller self kind of gotten in the way. So. Can close your eyes if you want to and just take a deep breath and we are tuning in to the yin principle the principle of feminine energy you're just allowing whatever sensations come up to be noticed and acknowledged and this may be felt in the body or maybe in your mind's eye in visual or perhaps you hear words sounds so just let this feminine principle speak to you and however way that comes together. Mm -hmm. 
so what I'm seeing I'll share with you is just this like um, almost like silk sheets in the wave motion the fluidity of a wave easily moving the not that they are sheets that I'm saying it's just sort of a uh, reflection of how the energy is moving the color of soft you know soft white yellow almost and uh, the viscosity of the energy being like more like a like a honey um, melted chocolate the way it pours easy so i'm gonna let you listen for a while and what we are going to do is get the pen ready because that connection that we're making is going to come through and maybe you want to use your left hand if you're comfortable with that and just allowing that side of the body that is reflected as the feminine to come through that way like I'm gonna do that so let's do some more listening and I will be swapping the forks out here and there this is the 174 Hertz you can use the circle on your paper as a focal point focus Stay focused. Don't drift out of your body. What I'm going to do is bring the tone down to 144 for a moment, kind of doing this churning sensation. So I'm really sensing into there being a polarity even within the feminine principle on its own. There's several oscillations happening like this. Expressions. So in my mind's eye, this is becoming very three-dimensional already. It doesn't need to be that way for you, but I'm going to just share with you directly what's happening with me. This is becoming the points, as I was saying, these oscillating like spokes on a wheel, um, these polarities within the feminine. And this is very colorful. It's swirling, and it's actually like becoming more of a the sphere almost like a toroid shape so with sound and intention and focus we're containing consolidating energy already in that space And so what we'll do next is bring in um, the harmony of 417 and 528. 
as this, I think it makes a perfect fit. And it's this very uniting tone. And so I'm focusing on the harmony within the feminine principle. All the different expressions that that can take. Yeah, so it's just kind of reflecting this idea of the seasons of the flowers and um, all the colors and expressions that come through of the garden and the different times of year, the, the blooming and, the re and then the falling down the back and then the different, and this is very much maybe like how that feminine principle works, where it's oscillating all the time and um, generating and then pulling back to the earth and then the growth of new blooms and then the coming back down. So it's looking a lot like a wreath of flowers. <laughs> I haven't even used done anything yet, and so how's yours going along? Just what are you noticing in your body? What messages are you receiving about this feminine energy? We all have. It's one of the principles of how the universe works. And so next, what we will do is get ready to use this pen and express the feminine energy allowing the feminine energy to come through in however way it wants to come through on the page for for the purpose of reflection to be seen to be noticed and to be integrated within and as we get ready to do that prepare your uh, <laughs> your stylus wand and listening, listen, 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 122. Maybe you feel it as a swelling or rising to crest. Okay, so it really um, is just a, like an inhale and an exhale. That's the, it doesn't have to be that long. It can take longer, take less time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get comfortable. Get comfortable. All right, we're not gonna look at this and get all like, ooh, what is this? what's going on here in the feminine? We're just gonna let that be for now. It's sort of in a, uh, it's in a containment, a contained space, it's resting. And we want to move over into the 
masculine side of things, the yang principle within. And we will allow that connection to happen just like we did on the other side. And mm -hmm, what is, I really enjoy this um, 89 Hertz weighted fork. It actually in a pair, this is uh, in a Fibonacci pair. This is the um, Yang fork, 144 would be the yin. And let's listen to this 89 Hertz before I companion it with some other compatible yang tones while we are connecting with the masculine. What are you noticing? What are you feeling? What is the tone of what you're feeling? With a, what I was seeing is the dark black screen with these shafts of light, like a laser beam of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> piercing through the darkness. Another Yang fork of the Schumann pair, 54.81 hertz. Very low. Let this connect deep within body, noticing how your body is responding to these different frequencies. interesting vibration okay yang one forty four really bringing that focus down into this circle Or perhaps a sphere.
lot of um, lightning bolt imagery happening in here. Sparks. Pew. Sort of solar. How the sun rips off these filaments of plasma and ejections of cosmic or uh, the uh, yeah the particles protons electrons I mean that's what we are dealing with here is this masculine power of the penetration to project and then you know that's the projecting into the magnetic field of the feminine is to receive so we're really embodying this principle of yang connecting with it feeling into it and preparing to use the stylus wand again to express into this dynamic that we have going on here as an independent expression we're not looking at the feminine over here just really seeing this you're not really you're not i'm not actually really focusing on my paper and my hand and when i'm doing this i'm kind of gazing beyond it almost a little bit just a tip because when we get all looking at it your brain wants to see already what is happening here and that's not what we're doing yet And I will hold a pen in my right hand this time. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. Um, it's very much like an arrow. It's pretty purposeful. <laughs> okay. All right, now what we have here is what looks like a lot of scribbling and it's some work to do because what we're, the goal is, is to bring this, what looks to be this chaotic, chaotic dysfunction between two principles together into a more um, harmonizing pattern i think you can see that okay okay more harmonizing pattern between the two when we harmonize within ourselves we're able to have clear pathways of communication within and we're clear about what our wants are and what we're creating and what we're wanting to connect with and then that translates over into our relationships and when we're clear with our relationships and the people we are engaged with and there's more coherence not so many mishaps and miscommunications and you know this is yeah i mean i could go into so many so much stuff about that i don't want to get sidetracked but let's focus on this and um, now we're going to create a harmonizing circle that's going to come and bring these together, a place for them to connect, a place where they, um, you know, at the both extremes of the polarity, there's this middle road where they can um, have that exchange in the yin-yang experience where it's 
there's a little bit of a transference between the two. And I'm just going to eyeball that into the center and I may use a different, well, that's what I was going to do is a red and a blue. I did forget to do that and that's okay. So let's just use the, uh, the black. And it might get a little is one thing you could do if you haven't started this yet is to have the the blue the feminine circle be blue and the masculine f circle be red and then i was going to do the center one purple and i'm actually going to create even a smaller core center within these two merged spaces i'll probably use this hockey puck right here for that representation and center it the best that i can here and bring in another circle i want these really thick so that i can Distinguish them easily. Okay. Now we have sort of this frame for stuff to happen. And this is where the energy gets modulated and processed. Really, the first part is coming into contact with it within yourself, calling it out. And then this is where we are really working with it intentionally <sighs> and so while we now take the time to just observe this i will sound some forks and stay present stay aware of your breathing stay connected to your body and allow information to come to you through this reflection process. So we're just having a soft gaze, like into a pool of water. This is my cat when I do it. Are you kidding me? Let's just let your eyes be relaxed and soft. And follow the path where they meander along the page. Finding yourself coming in and out of these circles into the center and back out from this side, from the right side to the left side, feeling into this center place where they are coming together. <sighs> I just see this as being like the nucleus, this junction place where this, the signaling that's happening in here needs to be really, really clear before going back out into these other realms <clears throat> of expression. So you can kind of sense how energy is looking and moving currently 
And then what we will do is introduce some some more harmonizing lines and some more defining colors to define these realms. I'm calling them realms. And <clears throat> I'm kind of allowing now my attention to come into this very, very centered and focused position anchored in the middle. And I'm going to define that space. If you are open, there, it's like what I just did. I said, I'm going to do this. And then I thought, and then I, what am I going to do? What am I doing? Who's doing what? Yeah. So one of the fun things that we learned in biofield tuning is asking that question of what wants to happen here. What wants to happen here? There was a clear impulse to create this absolute center still point between the two of them, and then another concentric circle within that. And now there's a point. Right here. Yeah. Your drawing is its own organic expression and it is not to be judged or criticized. That's where that aspect of yourself that you put in a chair that's just observing taking notes you know kind of keeping that critical mind in a place okay now we have identified some realms and some zoned zones there's a point centered point and there's a junction here and now we're going to maybe define a little further some of these spaces and I have more colors to bring in. You can use whatever colors feel appropriate for you, of course. And so I'm going to come back in with this blue, red, masculine, feminine color arrangement and come back in and define these spaces. And so while I do that, I like to listen to a tone to help my mind focus my attention focus and since um, I have the blue color here hmm, 528 it's just not a matter of it being perfect it's more about being open to flow Now the masculine side. And this is only because that's how it's coming out. Connecting the lines there. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Now.
We're working with these concentric rings now. Coming in. Green zone, a green zone. Um, and that is going to come in with a new tone, green zone. Mm -hmm. And Schumann pair. Uh, coming down to earth because masculine and feminine both ground. And when we're calm and grounded and coming together to communicate, there's just more clarity and more chances of the words and vibrations to come across and be received. And I'm going to bring that harmony into the picture here and you can do this with your focus. But really that's part of this is to take this first concentric ring that's binding these two energies. Just feeling into that unification. Unification of opposites working together in a rhythmic oscillating sort of um, Uh, relationship, relation. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the green, green pen and define this, this um, zone of harmony in here. And it's really fine to let this like, I don't have a preconceived idea about this, what it's supposed to look like. Okay. And now we have another ring in the center with the point in the middle and this is just coming into of more of concentration the the force that draws in and once it comes into the still point it's like it spins in and then the spinning out um centripetal centrifugal inhalation exhalation this expression and how that is and so in our relationships sometimes we're really really close and then sometimes there's this extreme polarity to see from that distance but there's always that balance of coming back to the core and then going back out that's just how i'm sensing it anyway this is for you to explore on your own as well these energies and the dynamic within and how that's expressed within all of your relationships um, and in the core this purple color bringing it together and we need some more sound and we will bring in 144 plus 222 Focusing in on that point in the center.
what's wanting to happen here is this spiraling into the point. A spiral. A spiral cyclic process does not leave you back at the same point as the circle if you're going around. You're really constantly kind of climbing this mountain or doing this, you know, you're never coming back to the same place. You're always growing. So that's neat. The spiral came through here. And that's kind of the gist of how this goes. It's play, imagination, and active engagement with your subconscious mind and different aspects of yourself, the anima, animus. And these are all dimensions that we, we have. And the purpose of this is to harmonize. And if you allow yourself to explore in this way, in a, in a way that's without criticism and judgment, um, you you really are connecting with maybe that child aspect of yourself and those desires and that unison that can happen there. My cat. And now I'm going to play some sounds and just work with this some more because what I'm seeing here is it's starting to take um, some substance. You know, we have we started with the frame. And now we've defined realms and created um, some expressions of energy here. On the masculine side, it's obviously a little more of this sharpness happening. And versus on this feminine side, there's a little bit more of the uh, soft curvatures happening. And in the center is the, you know, the unifying and then the spiral. And so I'm going to spend however long doesn't matter this is a project that needs to be finished for it to be effective and so I may bring in other um, types of pens I might bring in some colored pencil to start coloring and shading in here um, if you liked the neurographica technique I would watch some of those um, videos again on, on how to round these corners, if you like that technique. And it's pretty simple, where you're really just um, taking the corners and smoothing them out. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna do that exactly with this one. And this is really more of a neuro art style because we're using symbols and um, generating meaning from this. And what I'm going to do is come back in with the uh, black marker here and define some some shapes and perhaps take this off the page a bit and bring into uh, just bring in some more dimension and always keeping in mind how this is reflecting movement of um of energy um there there may be places of resistance where you're like this is too much to deal with and that's part of the process of oh, relaxing and letting yourself feel what that's all about what it is that may be keeping you from coming into touch with knowing this part about yourself and how this energy wants to move through you and so as you can see here this these masculine lines are really claiming their place here um I'll do this a little while longer. The forks, you can do the same. And 
at some point you'll see that these energies are really wanting to have more ways to connect. And over here, the masculine just starts bending a little. It's yielding a little bit in that way. Just starts that process of coming in to know a little more about this other expression. And on the feminine side, we have um, the desire to take up space out here. Maybe creating more these loops and whirls where the water is kind of doing that expression. I say that a lot, expression, but that's what the self wants to do. And that's why there's no real wrong or right about it. Um, it's letting it be revealed. It's letting it be revealed. It's not a wrong or right. <sighs> yeah, there's a playfulness that happens with this. It's easy, it's really easy to dismiss this type of work, this work, and find something else to do. N distractions. What do you do in the evening? How do you spend your time? Do you take time every day to kind of check in with yourself? I obviously spend a lot of time doing this kind of work. It's... <clears throat> part of my um, practice. It's also something that is quite familiar to me as I've always been doing journaling since very young. So this, this kind of stuff is, is potentially labeled as what might be called shadow work or is there so many things you could call it? But at the end of the day, it's more about self-discovery. Hey. Sheesh. And tuning in to this to the different parts of yourself so that you can harmonize, alchemize, become whole. And that's what this art project is about, is creating wholeness and integration of expression. And this translates out into the rest of your relationships in the world. I have focused on bringing growth and expansion and connectivity I want that more than I want to hang out on one of these dynamics or the other. Balance and poise in the center. And there's so much going on in this at this point. 
<clears throat> that I'm going to uh, probably leave it there and then follow up with how it looks after I spend some time on it. Take time. Give yourself the time. So, what I'm sensing here is that on the feminine side, I'm working on these circles, and there's a tendency to get um, lost in this process. It's very mesmerizing. Very... Um, timeless and so what I did was noticed that 
and uh, pulled my eyes back, pulled myself away from this. Not getting lost in it. Coming back. The magnetism of the feminine. Ooh. And kind of pull back, come back to center here. And now I'm coming over here into this masculine stuff. And I don't quite know what's going to happen over here. Other than these are direct points. They they have um, a very specific purpose. And so on this side, I am defining this energy in more of a uh, form structure. Structure has defined limitations, these um, very, very, very critical points of uh, choices that determine whether your foundations are going to hold. And the tendency over here that I'm feeling is the need to control. Outcomes. The outcome. Just, there's a bit of a tightness. So I'm okay with that. Just noticing, just noticing as it's changing. Because really, we do want to see our structures hold. And what is it that all this other stuff is about is the fear, the fear that this is not stable. So we want to control it. But yeah, the structure, we want structure. We want a boundary that's defined. Seventy-four. This is just that very initial beginning to yield in here from the masculine in. We're touching this feminine curve line here. We have the sharp edge 
coming into these rounded corners All right here I will leave that as well kind of a soft turn and as you get into a flow state the drawing begins to take a kind of a life of its own and you're able to allow this process to happen without so much resistance. When you get into the smaller areas, the tighter zones in here, there's going to be a need to bring in a finer point pen, as I am seeing here. And when these colors cross over, you want to focus on have, allowing the, them to blend together. Um, again, it's not about being perfect. And this is where you can start to kind of have a little more fun with it, with the colors. And... Well, not this is where, but, you know, the tight spots, these really, really, really small places in here. I am going to have to come in with this very, very fine point pen. And start rounding, rounding in the insides of it. It's going to be hard to see, probably, so that's okay, but I'm telling you about that. And this is so much to do. I'm going to spend, wow, I really like that bright blue coming in right here in the spiral. Um, just this emanation, so at some point you might turn the corner and be like, oh no, I'm, I'm into what I'm doing. And be careful because then you get this like attachment to some sort of outcome might come up like, oh, I love this and I don't want to mess it up. And I don't know, maybe you don't experience that, but the whole point is, though, is to make sure that you come to a conclusion here and find that um, sense of peace with these energies coming together, harmonizing. So take care. Thank you for settling in with me in this another art and sound workshop. And I will be back with you all again very soon.